Well, on the one hand, I feel like these basic tenets that got kind of established by On Our Backs and Fatal, for that ma matter. The reason I told that story was because I feel like the roots of where, how I direct porn today for straight people um, are really in On Our Backs. It's this, it's this idea of like, what do you want to do? Um, please participate in your own representation. We want to know what kinds of things you want to do and how you want to do them and how you want to look. And you know what I mean? This is like, these were basic fundamental things from the 80s that were still in place in 1998 at On Our Backs. I mean, it was, that was the sort of legacy. That was part of, that was part of it. These are real couples. They have real chemistry. They, they really fuck. Like, we're not hiring models. Um, which I think has had like a lasting impact on me. But I will say that I think one of my biggest challenges during when I was there was that um, Heather had a very specific notion that I wasn't sort of expecting, which was that I, I, it was just, we were just starting to hit our stride in terms of trans guys and gender queers. And so what I would find what I would find myself doing probably just because of the circles I ran in is like all the people who came to me who wanted to pose in the magazine, one of them was genderqueer or transgender. And I was like, oh, this is great, we'll do this. And then Heather was like, wait, hold on, that's now a man, and we're not making we're not making a move, uh, you know, we're not making a magazine for men or by men or with men. And I was like, well, and I, I was also the first person to ever do, um, have a trans woman. Um, in in our backs, I think. Did you ever have a trans woman? We'd have to talk about that in detail. Okay. No, just great. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so um, I was like, no, no, we have to have this sit down and talk about how I do think a lot of our readers do want to see gender queers and trans guys. Um, but then came like I did my first photo shoot with this one couple, and it came in, and Heather was like, these people aren't naked. And I was like, oh, right. And she was like, you know, porn, naked people fucking. <laughs> Which definition you know, do you have? And so that's why I was interested to hear that Honey Lee was in her underwear way back when. Um, because then I had to have these like, you know, sort of crises where I was like, this is their sexuality and their sexuality isn't about being naked. Um, and I think this is still really hot. And I think it's still porn. Um, I think that was the biggest challenge for me when I was there. I, in some ways, have a black hole about what immediately came after me because it was so painful. I couldn't stand to look at it after I left. I was so mad. I was so unhappy. Probably a lot of people feel bad about a job that they, you know, you didn't happily move on. <laughs> um, I think what I was definitely facing, whether it was with my own colleagues who I was doing it with or what came in the future was I was so left wing. I, I mean, I, for me, both artistically, I kind of like, it should be really bohemian, you know, like no matter what else, I was just thrilled with people who pushed the envelope. And so if somebody said they have to have white teeth and they have to smile and they have to be cute, I would just go, Bleh! you know, like I just, I didn't want to do that. There was part, you know, I was like the rock and roll part of me, the um, art, art school dropout part, not to mention the nation socialist worker Emma Goldman part was like always wanting my, my critical eye. I liked doing that and it was and be, because I was part of On Our Backs when hardly anyone wanted to participate, I got to do lots of it. I've never even told everybody all the pseudonyms I wrote under just to fill pages um, <laughs> because I couldn't get enough I had one, Barbara LaRue. I really liked Barbara. She, um, she wrote about personal ads and uh, butch femme dating techniques. I mean, she was, she was like my gossipy Ann Lander self. I liked her. Well, that was, uh, but certainly the way that, as you described, the way things opened up to more and more contributors saying, here I am, you know, and, uh, I have a lot, you know, I have a lot to give and I want to show and I want to connect and the, and the way people felt braver and not so stymied and all those bankers and secretaries that we never thought we'd hear from, that, that changed, changed a lot.